Labor Day. Look at him. Look at him. I swear, it's got to be like the only thing, like the only place is kind of normal to be like guys without their shirts on. I guess not most gyms, but at least this gym. It's like semi normal. We're like, you notice how like the girls over here are not like, what's going on over there? I think anywhere else you saw, like in a business, anywhere you see people with their shirts off, guys, you'd be like, there's only one other place like this happens at, like pool parties, male strip clubs, and that's about it. That's why this is like, it's weird to see it because normally you wouldn't see this anywhere else. One of my favorite parts is to see these two girls right here. She's filming her. Doing press pass. Yeah. Great. See it? Yeah. She's filming her. That's what, and then look, look, look back there. Look at my eyes, look back. Look back there. Can you get him with? Yep. I think you about to hit a PR. Yep, can you get him? All right. Yeah. And everyone's like cheering them on and hyping them up. That's what I love about the gym, bro. This gym. Not all gyms are created equal. Definitely not. Let's get back to it. go to where the section with the platforms and the squat rack is the booth section. What other gym? I don't think you're, I don't think it's another gym. Maybe like a CrossFit box, but like that's all they have. But like this section is always it's crazy bro. More busy than that section. Show them this section look. Where is everybody? Everybody is over here. And I think it says something too you gotta think about it. The, the stuff that is really difficult, the squats, the deadlifts most of the time you do it over there. So I guess to say about something about the members here, which I want to say personally, I love them, I appreciate them. And what I appreciate the most about them is the hard work. That's just shows. Because a lot of these people that I see here right now are here like 99% of the time. The time I come in the gym, the same people that I see. So, and it shows people over here lost like crazy amounts of weight, PRs, just, making gains so i gotta say a shout out to them all of them they know who they are if they see this video i love you guys i appreciate you guys What's going on? So when you do weightlifting, it changes you. You can kind of, I don't know. Is this like a bodybuilder? Like this is bodybuilder? And this is weightlifter? What? What is this?
Disneyland, bro. I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> Being such a dog. That's what that's what it is though, man. That's the secret. That's the secret, right? That's the secret, mama. I love you so much. Isn't that the secret? <laughs> Sit down. Sit. That's really the secret though. And that's exactly what you need. I'm sorry I had to do this to you guys. I'm sorry that I had to clickbait you guys into this video, but I'm glad that you're here if you stand. It's something that ultimately, if what you want was the girl, the girl that was here. Photoshop the girl here. If you, could, if you wanted this girl, or if you're like, man, I was like, damn, I'm gonna click it because that looks good, it looks nice. And if you wanted the girl, you wanted the thing, maybe you're like, damn, I want a truck like that. That's why I clicked it. Well, I'm gonna tell you what do you really need to get there? What do you really need in order to have those things? And it's not simple, but it's so simple at the same time. It's so simple at the same time, it's just really difficult, okay? It's a few things. I'm gonna talk and I'm explaining. I just had a long conversation actually with like three guys in the gym right now. Three dudes came up. I'm not sure exactly where they were from. They're like, man, I've been watching you since the beginning, since you did videos with Fousey Tube like six years ago now, it seems like. And like, man, isn't it crazy that people come up to you and they, they share their life stories with you. They come to this gym, they, they, take, they take, wanna take pictures with you, like, and you, you've changed so many people's lives. And I hear this so much now. And it is crazy. Like now that I have the ability to like make videos and talk to you guys like this and ask girls like can I help me get some clickbait and then have a real conversation about like real things in life that like, like I said earlier, ultimately like if you want those things, you gotta listen to what I'm about to say next. You need to listen, right Bam? And what was I saying earlier about Bam? Being in the moment is what I'm gonna talk about. Everybody has goals, everybody has dreams, everybody has all these like visions of where they wanna be or what they think is gonna make them happy once they get there. And I can tell you guys straight up, like I'm at a point in my life, I'm 29 years old. I've been doing this YouTube stuff for, it feels like six years now. I've been doing like Instagram stuff since like, not, how many, nine, 10 years now? Doing Instagram, like, I think I've been doing YouTube for like six years now. Six years on YouTube, like eight, or nine years on Instagram, like almost 10. But doing it since it came out and like, yeah, I've built all this stuff that you see now and you're like, you're, you're hearing from me, like after the fact of all those things. But I could tell you without a single doubt in my mind, the thing that got me here, right? And it's gonna sound like, duh, but everyone gets so caught up and everything else along the way that they fail to realize this, was focusing on living in the moment, was living right now. And trying to think about what I'm doing right now because there's so many other things that have gone on probably in your life or that are gonna go on in your life that are gonna distract you, that are gonna pull you away from the things that you want, from the direction that you need to be in. And like, you have to understand that that is a part of life and you have to embrace it. But at the same time, if you could stay as grounded as possible, and it's hard, it's so hard with temptations, with everything around us, with like, you know, there's drama, we can watch drama on YouTube, or we can really get this clickbait, or, like all this other stuff to almost distract us. I wanna talk about this, I gotta turn my phone off, man. Other distractions, other things that we deal with in our life, like negativity from someone else, some especially, especially from people in our life who we love, who we care about. When those people turn around, they say, that's a dumb idea. Oh, that's impossible. Oh, that's too hard. Oh, that's, that's difficult. Oh, that's, you shouldn't do that, that's dumb. Oh, that, no one can do that, you can't do that. Why would you be able to do that? The question you gotta start asking yourself is why can't you do it? Now. Beyond that, right, because that's, that's just, that's surface level stuff. I want to talk about the stuff that, how I really, really got here. Like, how did I really get to a point where I got to be able to film videos on YouTube, talk to people on the internet, own my own dream gym, and then, like, basically do whatever I want for the most part, with a lot of work involved, right? But it's still a dream in my, it was a dream. It was something that, like, I knew there was always something. There's always something more that I wanted in my life. I just didn't know how to get there, but what I did and what I encourage you guys all to do, every single day as much as possible, live right in the moment. I know that sounds like you're like, yo, that's what I do because I'm alive and I'm living. But I don't think enough people are conscious of it. They're not consciously enough thinking about what they're doing right now. Because look, check this out, right? 
you want to be a, a, a YouTuber or you want to be um, someone famous or you want to be whatever, whatever it is, like not famous, you want to be an amazing chef, right? How does anyone get to those things? How did I get to where I'm at the eight years, the 10 years, whatever on Instagram, the six years on YouTube, how did I get here? Every day I did something towards that goal, that dream that I had. Like I could talk to a kid earlier today. He was 20 years old. He came, he drove from New Mexico. He drove out here. He's like, man, I love you. I want to see you, blah, 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 all this stuff. And he was like, he's in the military. And I said, do you want to be in the military the rest of your life? He said, no, I didn't really want to be in the military the rest of his life. And I encouraged him, yo, do something every day. Even when you're doing something you don't really want to be doing that can get you closer to where you want to go. Because you only have right now. Like, I just want to make that clear. I know, I know it's hard for people to think like, the possibility of me going in a year, in a month from now, getting in a car accident and dying, like that's a real possibility. I'm, granted, like the chances of that happening are probably very small for you, but it's a real possibility in life, right? So what does that make you think more about? Like w when I think about death, right? I'm like, okay, I can't avoid this. You can't avoid this, no one can avoid this. But what that makes me focus more on is life, is living, is being in the moment right now. Because like I said, all those people who did something great that you're like, man, that's amazing. Or, you know, fuck that guy because he has this, I don't have this. Whatever perspective you're coming from, whether it be from hate or love, the thing is the same. These people did things, they did things great or amazing that you see as great or amazing or impressive or skillful or whatever, right? They did the same thing. In the moment, they put their energy into what they were doing as much as they could, like in that moment, like me talking to you right here now, I'm putting as much of my energy and focus into doing this, that's why I'm able to do it, right? It's different when you're constantly looking around at what other people are doing or what other people have, what other people have more, that, more than you or less than you or you, you, know, you wish you had what they had or they had a little easier and then, but you're not doing the things to make you great right now. So if you're not doing things to make you great right now, granted, I know every day can't be an amazing, great day. You can't do great things every day. But you get to a point in years, like I said, six years on YouTube, eight, 10 years on Instagram, on social media, to be able to be where I'm at today, spending the time as much as I could every day to do something that was gonna get me closer to where I felt like my life was pulling me, right? So I wanted to say this to you guys, that it's not enough to say live in the moment, right? I just want you to realize why. Because if you think about it, if you're more in the moment, the people you come in contact with, let's say like another Instagrammer who's popular or whatever, another YouTuber, someone that you want to interact with or engage with because let's say you see yourself doing that or being on that level or like that's your aspiration, that's your goal, you, you want to be where that person is at or maybe even better. If you spent time living in the moment, let's say you met one of those people and you really tried to ask that person like real life questions, like things that you could really maybe benefit from in your future, right? And on the flip side of that, if you think about what what I'm trying to think about every day, like when I get in the moment I film videos like this, I'm really trying to be here because I'm trying to share as much of my real self with you guys as possible. Because that's why, that's why people come in here and they say, man, I watched this video and it helped change my perspective on what I'm going through in my life because I'm just being real about my thoughts, right? I'm not sitting here telling you guys I have all this stuff figured out, but I'm sitting here trying to tell you some real, real, real life, like something that I wish I knew when I was younger. Like I wish someone had told me like, yo, live more in the moment because there's things and there's, there's stuff, there's words, there's hate, there's nonsense, there's so much other shit around you that you cannot control, but what you can control is the, is the steps that you take each day, the conversations that you have, how you have those conversations, who you choose to like be, who you choose to like, you, sh you choose to share love, you choose to share hate. And all those things like, you may not think it's significant when you sit at home or you're on the computer and you're like, oh fuck you, you fucking stupid. And you're, just, you're like, hate, hate, hate. But that hate lives inside of you, it doesn't live inside of the person you're trying to put it towards. Like you. I'm not saying like, look, you can't go out and hate on people. I'm not saying don't do that. I'm not, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. I'm just trying to get you to see it from a different perspective other than just like where you're at. Because it's going to help to get you to where you want to go if you're willing to look like right now in this moment. Because ultimately, what do we have, right? At some point in life, you're going to pass away. At some point in life, I don't know, billions of years, like humans are going to be gone. Whether they go live on a space station here for another billion years over there, I think eventually it's going to be all gone, right? The Earth is a star. Excuse me. The Sun is a star. <laughs> the Sun's going to be gone, so that means the Earth's going to be gone, right? And this is just like billions of years, however long. I'm not a scientist. I'm not going to tell you like when it's going to happen, but I'm going to say that like at some point it's going to be gone, and well before then you'll be gone. The person watching this video likely. So it's like, okay, what really matters then? Going after the things that are going to make you happy, living in the moment now because that's how you're gonna be able to get there faster and more efficiently. And being okay and knowing that like stuff's gonna come along the way that's gonna hit you. 
that's gonna stop you, that's gonna slow you down. But be in the moment with those things just as much as you want to be in that moment over there with all the good stuff where you're like, hey, everything's great. Be in the moment because ultimately, everyone you've probably ever been like, man, I was inspired by that person. Let's say you were inspired by me. The only reason why is because I was able to go through all that nonsense, stand here today and talk about it in a way that you're able to say like, wow, I can relate to where that person's been, what that person's gone through. That's the only reason why I have all this amazing stuff in my life is because you, the people have been watching, have been supporting me for years on the internet based on what I've gone through, the good and the bad. But being able to share that genuinely and real with you guys is being able to like slow down being in the moment, right? How do you, how do you make a real connection with someone? Oh yeah, okay, man, good to see you, all right, bye. Okay, man, good. That's not real, that's like, how are you gonna, let's say that's someone in the future you want to be able to build a genuine relationship with or maybe that person could be a part of your life or the things that you're trying to do. But if you don't treat it like, oh man, this is here, we're in the moment. Let me get as much out of this conversation with another human or conversation with someone else along the way. Then you're just kind of, you're, 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 you're missing the point and everything. There's so many things you can learn along the way in the bad relationships, in the good relationships. Are you, but are you willing to like stand there and be like, okay, what did Brad mean? What does whoever mean by say living in the moment? What it means is like, are you able to slow down enough to realize like, Ultimately, this right now, this moment where you're sitting at home watching this on the TV, or it's the phone or whatever, where are you at in your life? What are you going through? What am I saying? Is it helping you? Is it making you better? Are you really trying to digest those things? Are you just trying to get on to the next clickbait video? Are you just trying to get on to the next, oh, there's a girl's butt, or oh, there's a car, or oh, there's this, oh. Or do you want to achieve those things that you are clickbaiting for, that you're trying to find? You're like, oh man, it's... because the only way you get to those things, to that girl, Right, to the car, to the gym, to the success, to the whatever, social media bullshit, I don't know, do you use me as an example or not, is by living in the moment, is by being aware of who the fuck you are, what matters to you, why does it matter to you, are you willing to share that with people? This kid came up to me, he's probably like 18 years old today, and he's like, oh man, I wanna to talk to you about getting followers on Instagram, I'm getting started, I'm just getting started, and like, you know, I genuinely care about what I'm doing, and I'm like, why? And he couldn't answer the question, I'm like, why? And I've talked about this stuff before in the past, why? I got him to basically say his real reason, which was when he was younger, he was bullied because he was skinny and, he, and it made him feel like shit and, he's, and he didn't want to feel like that anymore. And I said, you need to dive deeper into that. Why did you feel that way? Why did you allow people to make you feel that way? That's what's gonna allow you to connect with people. Otherwise, you're just another person who's saying, oh man, this is great and I like to inspire people and, and I'm awesome. I'm like, that's everyone on the internet. But like, if you wanna get to a level, like I don't give a fuck what kind of industry it is. It seems like nowadays, most people who get super successful are able to do one thing very, very particular, is being in the moment when they're, when they're giving whatever their talent is, music, speaking, whatever it is, right? They're able to like really find out and understand why they're doing what they're doing to deliver that message or that song or that whatever it is, right? So I just urge you guys, I'm not saying you gotta be some famous singer or this or that, or maybe that's what you wanna, maybe it's not what you wanna do. Maybe you wanna do something else. It doesn't matter, the point is, Whatever the fuck it is you want to do or think you want to do, in order to get there, you need to be in the moment more than you're not. Be in the moment now, listening, watching this video, trying to understand what I'm saying more than you're like, what's the next thing I'm gonna eat? Because I know for a long time, that's always, what's the next thing I'm gonna eat? What's the next thing? What's the next? Because you're constantly looking towards something that's not actually there yet. And how you actually make that stuff come to fruition, be become real, is that you spend time right now in the moment, me filming this video. Okay, I wanna reach more people. How do I reach more people? I make more videos. What should the videos, what do I want to reach more people with? What kind of message? What is it about? Is it about something that's just uh, clickbaity on the internet or is it about something that I really want to help people with? Because I enjoy and I feel fulfilled when people come into my gym and they say, hey, that video helped change my life. I appreciate you. That's what's fulfilling to me. That's what I've learned. That's the thing that has been the, the ultimate like success in my mind. Because people, when you talk about money or cars or shit or things that I have, um, or could have, it, it, you realize at some point it doesn't mean shit. Because like I said, if at some point it's all gone, then what really matters? Right now, the moment, the moment you're listening to this. So I urge you guys to take some time when you're done watching this video, before you, before you leave though, drop a like. When you're done watching this video, go, go, like, go see your mom or a loved one or a friend or someone that you're a business partner with, somebody like, yo, tell them you love them, tell them you appreciate them. You're happy that you have them in your life and be like, yo, I'm psyched to continue to do what we're doing together. And I, it doesn't, it can be anything, but try to be more when you have conversations with that person or with those persons, be more there with them as you develop stronger relationships. Because ultimately we can't do this all alone. 
Like I can't have an amazing gym with people who are amazing in it. I can't do this without the people who work in here every single day. Half the time I can't get stuff done unless I have Steve help me. Look at Steve over here. I need Steve for help. Steve, to see someone who makes sure I like, you get this done, you get this done. Because I got to a point in my life where I need that help. So I have people in my life who are, if, if I didn't have a good relationship with Steve, he wouldn't be here long enough, right? He wouldn't, he wouldn't be, we wouldn't be able to build something great together for whatever it is, right? So I'm just urging you guys, try to live more in the moment. Not just because it's a cool fucking quote on the internet, because you, you know, Eckhart Tolle wrote a boat, like wrote a boat, wrote a boat, wrote a book called Live in the Now or Living in the Now, whatever it is, which I read that book, by the way. But not just because someone said it or it was a cool quote or a cool thing you saw on the internet. Because like, I'm telling you without a fucking doubt in my mind, because it's just, it's, just, it's just facts. Like, you cannot get to tomorrow where it's all shiny and gold and all the stuff you think you want without going through it right now. And, and that's, that's whether or not you're aware of it or not. Even if you're not aware of it, like, you literally cannot get there without going through this, whether it be good or bad. I'm just trying to tell you to be aware of it, the good and the bad, so that you can digest it and adapt, because that's all life is. Shit goes wrong, okay, what, what can you learn from it? Shit goes right, okay, great, that's amazing. What can we learn from it? How can we get better? It's the same thing, it's just not, the bad stuff you just don't want. The good stuff, you're like, yeah, I want more of it. But if you want more of those good things, more good reactions, you gotta understand, okay, same thing with a diet. What's not working? What shit have you gone through? You're like, okay, I don't wanna go through that anymore. How can you adapt? But the only way to do that is to be present as you go through those things. And I know that you're saying like, yeah, Brad, I'm present because I'm watching this video. I don't mean just there and like let it hit you and like, okay, I'll you know put it away. Okay, I'll, I'll deal with that later. I don't wanna deal with that now. That's too sad. That's making me depressed. I, don't, I just wanna push it down. I wanna push it down because at some point in your life it's gonna come up. So are you willing to deal with it as it comes? And it's not always easy. And it's taken me years to be able to actually even like, honestly even do that. Like there's still things in my life that I still kind of like try not to deal with. I still kind of push down. And, um, but like I said, I'm not perfect. And I know that. I'm just sitting here trying to talk to you guys about what I've been through and how I'm going through it and where I'm trying to go next. And I can't, it's, it's crazy. I had another conversation today with someone who was like, man, what do you want to do next? And I don't even know. Like, but I'm at a point where I still feel like there's so much for me to do. I don't know exactly how to get there, but that's exactly how I felt when I started. So I just want to tell you guys, I love you guys with all my heart. I appreciate all the support. Just keep going, but do your best instead of like just going and not looking around and not seeing the good and not, not allowing you to digest yourself to digest the bad. Instead of just going, 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 keep going. But every once in a while, I'll look and be like, okay, this happened, what can I learn from it? Oh, this good happened, what can I learn from it? How can I keep getting more of these blessings, right? Instead of just trying to go, I'm just trying to go, I'm just trying to go. Because actually, you know, you're gonna look back five, 10 years are gonna go by and you're gonna be like, whoa, what happened all this time? And did you get closer to your goal or didn't you? A lot of times I don't think you're gonna get closer if you didn't take the time to learn along the way. So I love you guys. I appreciate all the support. Subscribe to the channel. I know this wasn't the video you guys were expecting, but hopefully it's a video that, that helps you guys. I love you, I'm out. We just wanna say thank you um, for helping us out with the thumbnail. We appreciate you. You're very Thank welcome. you so much. You guys, thank I you. know you guys all wanna stalk her on Instagram, so go ahead. Um, yeah, you guys saw the Instagram. It What's your Instagram? There. Nicola Instagram Fitness. Boom. Isn't that weird how we just like decided to do thumbnail out here and then the video was about something completely different yeah how much you guys hate me right now <laughs> like 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 or is it like something that's actually gonna be like beneficial afterwards when you watch the video we'll find out okay, okay. Yeah.